So for this molecule, CH3, 3, NO, um, CH3, the important thing is that it's in parentheses. What that means is that it has to stay as a unit. You can't make it CH2, for example. You have to keep it as CH3. Therefore, it will be bonded to the N, right? Because the least electronegative atom goes in the middle, and then you have oxygen to the side. So, um, so that's how the Lewis structure will look. You'll have nitrogen in the middle. Wait, let me zoom out a little bit. Um, we'll have nitrogen in the middle, and then CH3 surrounding it, because the CH3s have to um, stay as a unit, and then you have oxygen finally on the side. So let's see how many pi bonds, or I'm sorry, sigma bonds there are, okay? So sig sigma bonds are just um, uh, single bonds. So all you're going to do is count the number of single bonds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's going to be 13 sigma bonds. And then continuing on, well, what is the hybridization of each one of these atoms? So for carbon, right? All, for hybridization, all you do is count up the bonds, and then the exponents should equal the bonds. So what does that mean? Well, for example, carbon, right, it has one, two, three, four bonds. So the exponents should add up to four. So it's going to be S1, three, right? So one plus three is four, so therefore it's SP3. Uh, just going over that, there's you have to remember that there's always a one, right? So this is actually S1P3. We just don't write the one. So then it'll be 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So going on to n, so 1, 2, 3, 4, same thing then, sp3 because 1 plus 3 is 4. And then finally oxygen. Um, now for oxygen, since there's instead of bonds, there's lone pairs, you count it as lone pairs and bonds. So one lone pair is two electrons, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be 4, right? So 1 plus 3 is 4. So all of these will have sp3 hybridizations. So moving on, the bond angle of C and O. So it's C and O. And so whenever they ask you a question like that, what is the bond angle of C and O? What they want is the bond angle of the middle element. So the middle element here, C and O, will be N, right? So the bond angle is whatever this is. So since we concluded that there's four bonds, um, you actually have to remember like Vesper theory. So for that, it, this for four bonds with no lone pairs, that would be a tetrahedral. And this is just something you memorize. But for a tetrahedral, it will actually have a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. And that's it. So um, the main thing to take away is uh, f if you have parentheses, you, ha you must keep it as a unit. You can't make it CH2 or CH, for example. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.